Quarantine content for you guys. So let's do this. We got Chobani up on this uh, on this study. So the full name is Chobani LLC. Um, and the name Chobani is derived from the Turkish language, which means shepherd. Um, the name was chosen to endow it with a hardworking and compassion spirit of the mountain farmer. Um, Chobani is headquartered in Norwich, New York. And Chobani was founded in South Edmiston, New York. Ed Edmiston, New York by Had Hamdi Ulukaya in 2005. And during his Ulukaya's childhood in Turkey, he spent much of his time raising sheep and uh, making cheese with his family. And the story goes that... Um, Ulukaya saw a newspaper ad in the yogurt factory on a newspaper in the New York area. Um, he saw the offer. First, he wasn't interested, and then he threw it away, threw away the newspaper. And 20 minutes later, he picked it up and wanted to get more information on it. So he went out to the factory, did the whole tour. And it turns out the old factory was an old craft yogurt factory. Um, it has been through its last phase, and they were about to call it quits. Um, Ulukaya talked to his uh, lawyer to buy it, and he was at first he was denied. His lawyer told him, "Yeah, you don't have any money, um, so how are you going to do this?" And then a day after, Ulukaya needed, really, really wanted this this factory, so he wouldn't take no for an answer. In 2005, Lukai took a loan from the Small Business Administration and purchased this old young, uh, old uh, yogurt factory at a steep discount. Lukai thought they forgot to add a zero at the end of the price because it was so discounted. And there were about 55 employees and four, employ four previous employees from the old factory decided to join Lukai in his future endeavors with this new factory that he owned. And the passionate previous employees were they heavily influenced the path of where the company where they go in the future and upwards and onwards. Uh, they knew the factory inside and out. They were the beating heart of the yogurt factory. Um, without much of a plan, Lukaya decided to decided the first step of the company was to paint the outside walls of the factory. This was more of a cosmetic beautification of the factory, but in a deeper meaning, it was a way to get to know his employees and his people to truly connect. Um, it wasn't all about the numbers to, uh, to grow the company as fast as possible or as big as possible. It was just treating the people, the process, the customers, and everything in between. Uh, just training all of those aspects, all of those uh, pieces um, with respect. And that's what made this company a success. And if you want the in-depth story about it, I'll link Hamdi Ulukayas. I'm not sure if I'm saying his last name right, but that's the best that we can do. But he has a TED Talk, and I'll link it in the show notes. His story and advice is truly invaluable stuff to current and future CEOs and entrepreneurs. Highly recommend listening to his talk after this episode and a quick and dirty overview of Chobani's history. It goes as follows: 2005, Lukaya finds, the, finds and uses a loan to purchase this closing yogurt plant in South Edmiston, Edmiston, New York. In 2007, they got their first yogurt cup to hit store shelves. 2010. Chobani rises and becomes the number one Greek yogurt um, in the U.S. and they form a charitable, charitable arm of the company. Um, in 2012, uh, Chobani 
expands a second U.S. production facility in Twin Falls, Idaho, which also becomes the world's largest yogurt plant. 2015, Hamdi joins the Giving Pledge and given a majority of his wealth during his lifetime, given uh, a lot of his wealth away during his lifetime. 2016, they launch a profit sharing program. Um, and they also got certified to as a great place to work and this is still a running uh still accurate today. They also launch a company incubator. An in company incubator twenty seventeen Shabani climbs the ranks and becomes the number two manufacturer in the overall yogurt com- uh category. Twenty eighteen so they celebrate the ten year anniversary and they give a whole bunch of yogurt cups away all across America. And in 2019, uh, they pay off student school launch debt for select districts in Rhode Island, Idaho, New York. Also, Chobani opens a new state-of-the-art innovation and community center, as well as another 70,000 square feet, square foot extension to the already world's largest yogurt factory. So it's just growing. Um, I love to give back, give back to the community, give back to the people. It's, yeah, it's a really, we're definitely following uh, their mission. Um, Chopani is a privately held company. And, and with their, uh, and with the size of the company, they are pretty huge in today just from starting with four at the start in 2005 to having over 2,000 employees now and they've also expanded their uh, their factories from New York to uh, to Idaho and they also have a factory or you know uh, they also have three cafes two in New York and one in Texas uh, their key product is uh, three or uh, thick Greek yogurt, and uh, in their cafes they do sell different types of special combination yogurt, sandwiches, salads, and other types of beverages. Um, Jobani's mission statement is better food for more people. They're really trying to uh, to sell more organic, uh, non-GMO, just really healthy, health-conscious type of foods. And they're really trying to expand that out there. It's really good. Uh, a unique culture. Uh, like uh, culture, you know, the culture that is in yogurt. Because culture is what makes the yogurt alive. Huh. Um, Giovanni follows three pillars uh, to help achieve their mission. As... Um, To help as many people, to help as many people as possible. Uh, their three pillars include nutritional wellness, scaling their efforts to provide better food for more people, social wellness, uh, increasing investment in the communities where where they serve the people who help us craft their food, and environmental wellness, uh, playing active roles in transforming our food system to protect the health of our planet and a comfortable future for everyone. Um, so they put great efforts into these three pillars. They really go above and beyond to really change people's lives, not to just check the box and get it over with. Um, Trobani has many examples of how they fulfill these three pillars from giving over a million dollars in sponsorship grants and in-kind donations to their communities. Um, Employees also volunteer at these local events all over the U.S. When Chobani says the most important thing we can give is our time, and I really, truly believe that because, you know, time is money. So, yeah, they really, they really, really care about their communities. Um, yeah, there are many communities, organizations, and up-and-coming food setups where Chobani has been a great help to you. I'll link their 2018 impact report in the show notes if you want to take a look. It's really good. Um, the design and just the artwork on there is also really great. So, 
really hope you download that really beautiful PDF I really really like what Chobani is doing they follow the three P's and if you haven't heard of that people plan it and profit Chobani goes the extra mile to help the people in the communities also very environmentally conscious a company uh, for their positive contribution to the pa uh, planet Chobani set something called North Star goals and these goals are to help grow the company in the future and uh, think bigger and more creatively about solutions these North Star goals are nine goals that will help with environmental wellness some goals are more achievable closer to the present and some are a little bit more in the future but the important thing about these goals are that they're tangible, trackable, meaningful uh, for the business over the next four years. And let's go over these nine goals real quick. Uh, first one is 100% renewable energy. Second, zero waste to landfill. Third, water neutral. Fourth, a dairy worker well-being. Five, sustainable sourcing. Six, renewable fuels. Seven, Strengthening rural communities, eight inclusion and diversity, and nine sustainable packaging. They've been on a successful track with their North Star goals in 2018. They've been focusing on packaging reduction, and since 2015, they've reduced their packaging weight by 7.5 percent um, by redesigning their cups, saving over 2.1 million pounds of plastic resin, which is the weight of eight adult blue whales and they also are a member of the sustainable packaging coalitions how to recycle um, sustainable ingredient sourcing they've collaborated with the world wildlife fund which uh, with a focus on six pri priority ingredients uh, dairy strawberries coconuts vanilla almonds and palm oil um, energy reduction since 2014 They've cut overall energy consumption by 17% through electricity to power more than 100 or by 17% which is enough electricity to power more than 100 homes in the U.S. for one year. And whey recycling, so recycling 100% of the whey. And if you don't know what whey is, it's mainly water, lactose, and minerals. It has many different uses such as being a renewable uh, fuel source, animal feed, or land applied fertilizer. Um, some new changes is that they help small companies through their uh, in-company incubator. Participants are able to receive an equity-free grant of $25,000. Um, I think it's a great idea because it allows food startups to just meet people, meet veterans, learn from veterans in the industry, um, and just build their company right. Um, currently have we currently helped over 36 food based startups and collectively their alumni has valued over or is valued at over 100 million dollars raised over 40 million dollars and have created over 115 full-time jobs uh, some other interesting finds was how they just keep on improving and the great team building to creating delicious yogurt they've really come a long way since the beginning uh, building the largest yogurt factory in the world forming a charitable or a charity division of the company to give back and accomplish the company goals and even a great innovation for their design of their Chobani flip cups which is the winner of the Nelson Breakthrough Innovation Award um, further expanding their cafes to diversify their company uh, company presence expanding more internationally aiming at Australia Asia and Latin America in the future they've also tried to give back to their employees um, in 2016 they introduced Chobani shares which is an initiative to give every full-time member of the company uh, full-time member in the company to give them the opportunity to share the growth of Chobani over time, in 2017 they implemented a new parent parental leave policy offering 100% of 100% um, paid parental leave for six weeks for all full-time hourly employees and salary employees. Uh, Hamdi has great intentions from the start. Um, uh, they really cares about the people. Who cares about the community, the animals?